Hi, and welcome to episode four of the Beer Falcon Restoration Project. In today's episode, we're going to tackle the interior. So let's get started. Um, I started out with the boot, where, where I pretty much emptied it completely. Um, as you can see in here, there wasn't much to clean, but there was a lot of dirt build up in here. So you remove these rubber grommets here and here, and you pretty much use all the soaping agents that of your choice and you give it a good clean, pressure wash it, rinse it off of a hose and give it a great clean. And then after that, it should be spotless like this. And then while we're at it, use some detergents on the, on the rear carpet, which we washed yesterday and hopefully we'll finish drying off today. And then that will go back in here. Now we go to check the engine bay. You would have seen in the last couple of videos that the engine bay was looking clean already. That's because I detailed it a lot earlier. That was one of the first things I did on this car when I got it. For more information on how to clean an engine bay, go to the video description below and follow the link to the other one that I did on the Mitsubishi Lancer. Coming back to the car, this is what we're dealing with. This will just need a vacuum here, but because of previous spillage and grubbiness, as you can see here, I mean, what is that? Do I dare touch it? Oh, I'm gonna try, oh, it's slimy. I don't know what that is, but ugh. And then there's all these crap here. Ugh. So, I don't know what the full history is, but I'm trying to give this an awesome clean, hopefully with a steam cleaner and then a vacuum and allowing it to dry and go from there. So this is what we're looking at after round one of the vacuuming. So here we got rid of that, whatever that was. So there's no tricks here. This is after the vacuum. This is what it looks like. Now we're going to try to use some carpet cleaner and see if we can bring it back. All right. So here we are after using a carpet cleaning agent off the shelf from Woolies. Or Coles for that matter, because it's a pretty generic brand. Um, that's come out pretty good. As a foaming agent starts to dry off, give it another vacuum because there will be a fair bit of dust particles that will come up through the carpet. But this is what it's looking like. Now we're going to let it dry. So to give you a proper idea of what I was dealing with, here's the side that I've done. And here's the side that still needs to be done. While I've got the seats out, it'll be a good time to replace this um, handbrake cover with one that hasn't been wrecked. So we'll give this one a good clean and then we'll put it on. And there you have it. Carpet all cleaned up. This side here, we'll put protectant on the sides, give it a good clean. All the major gunk and dirt from the carpet completely removed. Well, it can never be 100%, but that's a lot better to where we were when we started. 